on the sit squat today, which is an amazing way to work on the mobility of the lower back, the hips, the knees, the ankle, the whole first floor of the body. Now, depending on what your goal is and where you're bravely working, i.e. maybe some limitations that you have, you can modify this one exercise. And this is something that you want to be able to work on, sustain, improve, all the things because the ability to be able to sit down and get back up is what's going to keep you living in your own home for a long time. So let's say you have um, pain in the knee or limited mobility in the knee. You would work in a weight, in a range of motion where you wouldn't let necessarily a lot of the weight come forward, the knees come forward that can put more pressure behind the knees. So the squat might look more center, centered around the hips. And then you can maybe not go past that 90 degree angle, not bring the knee forward. So this is working a lot of quad strength. This is gonna help you be able to stand back upright. And so you might just wanna work in this range of motion. You can drop the tail and round the back a little bit to get that added um, lengthening and spaciousness in the lower back. Now, if your knees are fine and your back is <laughs> more of the issue, well, you let the knees come forward and not round the spine when you go up and down. And so the difference here, again, I'll show you, you can let the back round, not let the knees come forward, be more back centric and hip centric. So feeling a stretch all the way down here, strengthening the quads, not putting a lot of strain in the knees. If your back is, uh, you have anything like a herniation or a bulging disc, pain in the SI joint, but you want to work on hip flexibility, range of motion, well then you would think again that you're just folding in that first floor so you're not rounding the back and the knees can come forward just to that place where you would have to round and you can go up and down. Again, that's going to build strength all the way around the legs. You can do Start with five, work up to 10, work up to 20. Eventually you can time this. You spend, um, maybe you do two sets, one in the morning, one in the evening. Hip centric, back centric. <laughs> and here I'm going all the way down. So eventually, again, what's the goal for you, for your mobility? Where are you bravely working? But you can start it where, okay, here it is, I'm feeling it in my back, right? Not in a bad way, in a stretch, in a good way. And then you come down to a level and, okay, now I'm getting this to release and the stretch in the glutes. Once my hips go down past 90, well, now I'm strengthening and lengthening the quad. So I've got that eccentric contraction going on. And then it comes to a place, I can even let my knees come forward, where um, it goes down even into the calves. So really working on the flexibility of the ankles, you can see that's where I'm working. And then, got to get back up. <laughs> so you can play with this. You can spend a couple minutes a day here in this ancestral squat. Not only will you work on your mobility, on your strength, but this is one of the best things for digestion and elimination. Have fun playing with that and let me know how it goes.